Hello everybody, and welcome back to the G-Scale Train Guys. So we are currently looking at my kitchen sink, and we are taking our old track, which as you can see is not in the cleanest shape, and we're going to be cleaning it up today. So, um, first things first, I've already had some track sitting in some citric acid, which is like a food grade acid. It's what they use to make food tart for just about uh, five to seven minutes now and it's already cleaned up the track a lot so I'm gonna leave those soak in there and I was also gonna try some other methods to show you guys so I'm starting with the small uh, turn pieces first and if you want to know why the track is out of the train area you'll have to wait for uh, two Sunday one Sunday from now's video for two weeks and then you will know why so the first thing I did was obviously I put some in citric acid, but I want to try just some warm soapy water. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to warm up this water. It's actually already warm and put that in there just using a dish soap. Need to get more and that should be enough. So I'm using a toothbrush for now. Um, I also have this big brush over here, which is actually probably what I'm going to... It didn't make a seal. I'm losing my water. Hold on. I'll fill this one up. Okay. Let's try this again. Just a different kind of dish soap. Um... Okay, that's enough. So we're going to continue scrubbing these rails. Oops, my thing turned off. Um, and then we'll rinse them, and then we will see how we did. Although those, uh, the track that was in the citric acid is looking extremely good right now. I don't, I can't see the screen, so I don't know if it's in frame. Alrighty, so I'm going to rinse this track off with some cool water. So let's set it there, get that out of the way, and grab another piece. So it did remove some grime, but so let me grab that one. I'm going to grab a citric acid track. I think that looks more like the original copper color or brass I think is what these are so this is soap this is cit warm water and citric acid I should add that and then this is what the original looks like so I think what we will probably end up doing is we'll soak them in citric acid for about 10 minutes so what it looks like is about how long those have been in there and then we will scrub them with some warm soapy water and then we will rinse them off and see how it does so i'm going to do that right now um i'm going to turn the camera off because i figure y'all don't want to watch that for hmm, however long this takes me okay so i took one of the tracks out of the citric acid uh, scrubbed it with soapy water and then rinsed it off so this is hold on this is before and all the track looks like this even the four foot sections which we'll have to figure out a different way because uh, you can't soak them in this these tubs um we'll have to get like a big one or something so this is the after so and it looks a whole lot more copper colored actually i think my plants in the way anyway but so i think that's what i'll do i will leave this set up like this um fill this up a little bit more it's still warm water um and then i will do that with all of the track and then show you what it all looks like so i'm gonna do all that okay so we obviously figured out that citric acid works very well to do corrosive by the way i am in my bathroom and it is one of the worst places in the entire house to record audio it is terribly echoey and so oops sorry that was me trying to put a towel over myself. Um, there, that might sound better. Um, so, what we did a little digging and we figured out that, uh, whoops, people actually use citric acid on brass bullets to 
uh, take off corrosion. And in theory, some people have left their brass in uh, citric acid. And they say you could leave it in there indefinitely, indefinitely and that nothing would happen. Um, it just helps take off that corrosion layer. So that's what we're doing in here. Um, we got the four foot section to track in our bathtub. There's about one and a half cups of citric acid in that bathtub. Uh, probably only about 25 gallons of about lukewarm water or warm water. Just enough to dissolve the acid. So that is what we have determined. And if the audio keeps fluctuating, I'm sorry. But um, so now we're just going to clean all of this track and then that's kind of this week's video. Um, sorry that we haven't been doing uh, more videos um, since COVID broke out. We haven't been able to do uh, that many videos because we couldn't get supplies to do the videos and we didn't have a good stockpile of train supplies. And so thank you all. Um, I just throw the water up every so often. So thank you all for sticking with us. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and remember, stay tuned, subscribe, and don't miss this next video because this will explain why this track is getting cleaned. Alright, thank you. Goodbye.